Howdy, Simmers. So I know what you're thinking. What's up with the new angle? Well, I got a new camera, and instead of clipping it to the very top of my laptop where I do all my recording stuff, I actually have it on a mount next to my computer, which means I have a new angle. You can see my wonderful Alice collection in the background here, which I absolutely love. But basically what happened, my old camera pooped out on me like three times during my stream on Wednesday, and so... I was just completely done with that camera. That camera was on its last legs and I needed a new one. So I got a new one that came in on Saturday, got it set up that night, used it for stream yesterday, which if you're not following me on Twitch, I highly recommend if you're interested in games outside of The Sims or any older Sims games. I like to play The Sims Medieval and sometimes The Sims 2 on stream. So twitch.tv slash The Sim and Koala if you want to hang out with us over there. Anyway, today I'm going to be taking a look at the entries for the shell challenge that I posted last month to celebrate 100 subscribers here on YouTube. Just as a reminder, this is the shell that I gave you all to work with. So people got to take the shell and turn it into whatever they wanted, whether that was a house, a library, a restaurant, absolutely anything. They just couldn't change any of these walls. So this is a fun little challenge for everyone and i actually have another challenge going on right now so if you want to participate in that i will link the video for that in the description below so that way you can find out the details about that one before we take a look at the entries i do want to say thank you to everyone who participated in the challenge even if you didn't get your entries in that's totally fine and the shell is still going to be available on the gallery for you guys if you want to download it in the future and do something with it but I'm really excited to take a look at all the entries that we do have today. Thank you so much because I honestly was not even sure I would get any entries. So the fact that I have some people who actually did want to do this challenge and submitted an entry, I'm just blown away and so, so grateful to you. So thank you so much for participating in the challenge, and I cannot wait to see what you guys do with the next ones. So to submit your entries for the shell challenge, you had to upload to the gallery using the hashtag koala100shell, so that way I could find your entry. And so as you can see, the shell is right here, and then there is my entry. And then we have four people to look at today, and I'm going to start right after mine. So we're going to start with X Linith X, who built a community art center. All right, so move objects is on. We are going to get it furnished and... It's going to be a maker studio on the gallery. There we go. It's taking a minute to load in, but there we go. Wowza. Oh, I love the use of these Realm of Magic windows. That is so cool. Looks like it is 81,638 simoleons. This looks amazing. So I kind of want to take a look like all around and yay, my uh, build camera mod is actually working today. <laughs> <laughs> it was giving me some issues uh, the last time I tried to use it, so. But, oh, look at this outdoor space. So nice. Got a little seating area, and I love the use of, like, the little topiary stuff. Statue. This is absolutely gorgeous. So, ooh. We got the uh, NAP board back here from Eco Lifestyle. This is super cool. And is this a food stall? Nice. We got the dumpster back here. And, ooh, this is beautiful. I'm sorry, my camera's being, like, super shaky probably on here. <laughs> but this looks amazing. So we've got, looks like a... I can't tell what this is. Is this supposed to be, like, the flower arranging table back here? I see we have little bees. We have... Oof. At least... I see... Th three or four planter boxes back here which is super cool um oh what is this object hang on your friendly eco-friendly or choice sign is this something that i actually have in the catalog or is this like a debug item or something i've never seen it before but i have so much custom content in here that it literally does like not show up when i try to find it. <laughs> all right anyway um so let's go ahead and go down here and take a look so it looks like we go off into this nice little kitchen dining space. Lots and lots of greenery in here, which I really like. So, oh, is this from one of the uh, new kits? Oh, no, 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 no. This is from Cottage Living. Oh, I don't know if I've seen that before. For some reason, I thought that was one of the uh, work stands from the new kit, the Greenhouse Haven kit. But no, that's actually kind of like 
really cool that that is <laughs> in cottage living. Oh my gosh, I love this object so much. I never have been able to find a use for it, though. Um, so it's also from Eco Lifestyle. I imagine there's a lot of stuff in here that's from Eco Lifestyle. Um, uh, this looks amazing. I love green. I'm a huge fan of the color green. Purple is my favorite color, but green is a good color too, especially when it's like this shade of green. So it's just very nice. I think I came in the wrong way, actually, but it's fine. <laughs> I think this is technically the front. Um, anyway. So we actually walk in through here, I guess, maybe. And what do we have back here? Is this like a little storage room, maybe? Man, I really do love the use of all of the Realm of Magic windows and doors in here. I never have been able to find a use for those. All right, and then it looks like we have a bathroom over here, which, again, a lot of Realm of Magic going on which i really like it's a really good use of realm of magic honestly <laughs> it's like i never really think about like what i can make with home of magic outside of like magical houses or anything like that but that is really cool all right so we come up the stairs and we are met with a bookshelf so and the landing area has a lot of stuff going on we have the woodworking table we have the fabrication thing what's this called Stornomore Home Fabricator. And then this is the uh, flower arranging table I was looking at. Little like desk area and you can do some like cross stitching. But this is really cool. We got the candle making station. Oh, a nice little art studio area where everyone can like do community painting. I love it. And then in here we have a little crafting area for the kids. It's so cool. And then, oh, we have a little outdoor area here. Looks like a little like, picnic spot, maybe. And there's the telescope there. Very nice. So this looks absolutely incredible. Uh, I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but I really, really like the use of the Realm of Magic windows and doors and all the other Realm of Magic stuff near. It fits in so well, I think, uh, which is very surprising to me. <laughs> So I have tried so hard to make Realm of Magic, like, work in regular type builds. And it just is too whimsical for me to really, like, build with, I guess. But thank you so much for submitting this. This looks honestly just amazing. Thank you so much, Lineth, for your entry. Because you did really, really good with this. This is, on like, it's so hard to believe that this is the same shell, but I can see the outline of everything. So, very, very cool. Alrighty, so the next entry comes from Rick DV, who built a modern beach house. This is 82,837 simoleons. And it says, hi, this is my first time doing a shell challenge. Ooh, super exciting. Had so much fun doing one of these. He made a modern beach house, did not touch the walls, and even kept the iconic palm tree, which I will show you in a minute and give you context about it. And thank you, I'm glad you enjoy watching my videos. So I will definitely be continuing on with YouTube for a very long time because I absolutely love doing this. All right, so it said it got put on a 50 by 50 lot. So I'm probably just going to go to... I don't know. <laughs> I'm putting it in Sulani because it is a beach house. And so I feel like Sulani is perfect. I just don't know which one to put it on. I guess I'll probably do Sapphire Shores and just hope for the best that it uh, is the right lot to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we are. And this palm tree is actually in the back of the original shell. So I don't know if they rotated the lot or if it is rotated just because of the lot that I put it on. Uh, rotating is completely allowed, by the way. So you can rotate the house in whatever way you want, just as long as you don't adjust any of the walls. But yeah, so this palm tree actually has a story. <laughs> and that is... When I uploaded the original shell, I did not realize that this palm tree was actually on the lot. And so when I uploaded the shell to the gallery, this palm tree got uploaded with it. Um, and I made it so you guys could remove it if you wanted. Rick left it here, though, which is absolutely hilarious to me. But thank you so much for doing that. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Right off the bat, I see we have this like little dining bar area at the top here, which is really, really cute. So I'm so bad about building beach houses, so I just never do it. And I think it's just because I grew up in Kansas and there are no beaches anywhere. I've been to the beach one time in my life, and that was when I was in sixth grade. 
So I was like 11 years old. It's been 10 years now since I went to the beach. <laughs> But back here, we got some nice seating areas and lots of greenery, which I really, really like. We have another little, like, dining area. And then we have this really cute lounge area back here. And, oh, this is so cute. And I really do like the way this kind of, like, sits out over the water. And uh, beach houses are amazing, but I am so bad at building them. All right, and then it looks like we have a seating area back here, too. But let's go ahead and go downstairs to the first floor. So we walk in here, and we have this beautiful living space. So I love this couch uh, from the Desert Lux kit. I know that couch anywhere. I use it a lot. <laughs> but I love all of the natural lighting as well. We got the big windows, the big sliding door. Um, looks like we have a bathroom over here. So a little, like, guest bathroom kind of thing. So it's just a toilet and a sink. So super duper cute. We've got this kitchen over here. So nice island. I love that we have some, like, clutter going on. The phone in the keys, a used mug that has, like, coffee dripping down the side of it. So very, very realistic. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love these two plants right here. I don't use this wall piece a lot, but I do use these ones a lot. They're some of my favorite, like, tabletop kind of plants in the game. So, super duper cute. Little dining space here. And then, yeah, I don't actually know how you get back to this space. Oh, I'd guess maybe, like, through the sliding door and then you probably go, like, all the way around. So, nice. All right, and then we do have the upstairs, of course. So we'll go up here. Little landing space. Um, over here looks like we have a bedroom. So super duper nice. I like these lights, too. Uh, I'm really bad about, like, forgetting to change ceiling lights from these little saucers to, like, actual lights. Because for the most part, these little saucer lights are, like, the best ones in the game for ceiling lights because they're just so bright. And a lot of the time, the lighting on the other ones just isn't good. So I just tend to use these ones all around the house and leave it. But super nice. And then, yeah, it looks like you can access the little, like, dining area up here through this room. But I'm going to go in here. We have a nice big bathroom. Hello. I've uh, got a double sink situation going. So super cool. And we've got that open shower from Snowy Escape. Which is really cool and then we come in here nice big bedroom got an easel i really like the swatch on the bed i have never seen this swatch before but that is really really cute <laughs> i never think about putting like tvs on like tables in the rooms i whenever i do put like a tv in a bedroom i always just do like the mounted ones and put it on the wall but yeah that is really really cute and then we just have this little like stone area here so super duper nice and then we have like this little like grill area under here too so when you walk out there's the grill and then seating areas and yeah this is really really nice so thank you for submitting this to the shell challenge this looks absolutely incredible the next entry is the yellow craftsman from it's mothman which, when I saw the ID name, I had to tell my friend Zach because he is so obsessed with Mothman. Um, this is 67,334 simoleons. And it says, this is my entry for hashtag Koala 100 Shell. Thank you for this amazing challenge. Had a lot of fun making your, uh, your version of it. Uh, I've quickly become one of your favorite Sims YouTubers. Aw, thank you so much. So I'm really excited to take a look at this. And I will comment on this once I am done with it. Uh, my recording, I promise. So let's go ahead and place this. This is going on a 40 by 30. All right, so I put it on the 40 by 30 lot like it says to on the gallery, but this house obviously is like really, really small for this lot, uh, which is totally fine. So we have this adorable little craftsman house. I'm really bad about like doing styled houses because I don't know any like housing, like architecture styles. So... 
Yeah, I never like label my houses as a specific style because I don't know what style I build in. Cozy, that's that's the style I built. <laughs> but it looks like we have a nice little backyard area for some like younger kids. We have the little infant play mat and we have the little toddler pool and the toddler slide. Super duper cool. So nice little backyard play area. And I'll take a look at the actual backyard here once we get through the house. But I really like the landscaping on this too. I don't know how some people are so good at landscaping because I just am not. <laughs> but we've got this little like front porch situation going. So we have a little chest table area over here. Nice seating area. Some of those plants with an easel. And then back here, we got a nice pool. Little seating area back here and a grill. So super cool. I've never thought about putting pools like on a porch. I always put them down like in like the backyard. I don't know, but that's like a really cool idea. Um, I may have to try that out in the future. But let's go ahead and head inside. So, ooh, I love the colors already. So we walk in and we have this nice little front area. Got a little sectional seating moment happening here and then beautiful kitchen so this like yellow and pink combination is actually really really cute and i have never in my life i think used pink appliances for my kitchens but that is really cute i love that and i do love that like you come in and you walk into the kitchen rather than the living room i'm really bad about making my spaces not be like you're walking into a grand area or just the living room that's just kind of the houses that i build typically but over here is the living room so really really nice looks like we have that same couch from outside as well so i love the continuity this is a really nice space i love all of the like kid details that are around here and then we have the bathroom over yonder <laughs> So I'm happy to see I am not the only one who is using this sink and the shower a lot. Like I knew people would use the shower probably a lot because it's like the new, more modern uh, double like uh, shower tub combo. So before I think we only had like the one kind of nice one, uh, but now we have an even better one. And then we have the sink, which I have definitely been using a lot in my builds. <laughs> Then back here, we have like a little play area. So we have the high chair for the toddler. This rug is so cute. And then we have the dollhouse and the little blurfy. Super duper cute. All right. And then going upstairs. Oh, we have the trash can over here too. I like that they used the uh, trash can that typically attaches to like the changing tables. That's really cute. All right. So go up here and we have another bathroom. It looks like just a single shower in this one. But all oh, the toddler room. This is really cute. So it looks like we have the little toddler potty in here. They've used one of the new bookshelves from Growing Together, which is super cute. I don't think I've seen that be used in like an actual uh, residential home or lot or whatever. Uh, I think I've only ever seen it for like the uh, recreation centers or like the libraries or something. So that's really cool. Uh, we've got another little blurfy type thing here. And I love this toddler bed. I know for a fact that this is from Eco Lifestyle. I was watching a Delicacy video the other day, and I heard her talking about this bed in particular and how it was from Eco Lifestyle. So it's like, that's how I know it. I've retained that information. <laughs> and then we have a nursery here, which is really cute. We've got that crib. I love this rocking chair. It looks so comfy. Especially when you compare it to the uh, rocking chairs that we got in Nifty Knitting. Got another Blurfy. We have the changing table. I love this like pink and yellow combo that we still have like going throughout the house. Really, really nice. We have another seating area with that sectional. Oh, wow. This is a big room. Can I have this room? <laughs> it's like my, my bedroom now uh, with my fiance is like really small and we have this huge bed and a lot of stuff. So if I could have a bedroom like this that was like this size, I would be so happy. Um, but we have a little computer area over here. And then we have that couch again. I love 
love, love continuity. It's one of my favorite things. I'm really bad about doing it, though. It looks like they did that size down trick with the tables to make a little, like, secondary table tucked under it. And then we have more of that pink and yellow theme going on, which I really like. And then this is one of my favorite beds in this entire game. So I'm really happy you used it. I love purple. Best color. <laughs> but I think that's the whole house. And this is amazing. I love the colors. So very, very well done. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for your entry. I really like this house. I kind of want to use it now and something like yellow is not my favorite color but at least when it's not like when it's this shade of yellow that like mustardy kind of yellow it's not my favorite i can handle like pastel yellow all right and our last entry comes from pixie dusted who is actually the mother of a friend of mine uh, i watch a lot of her videos on youtube so i will go ahead and link her channel in the description for you guys if you want to watch any of her stuff uh i'm not gonna lie pixie i got so excited when I saw that your entry came in. Like, I was absolutely freaking out. Uh, I think I talked to you a little bit about this on Sunday, but I am so excited to take a look at this. So, <laughs> Pixie Dusted built a little, like, seafood type of restaurant called Hook's Hideaway. It says, the best seafood restaurant in town, according to that one guy. I think his name is Kyle, maybe. So it's part of my shell challenge, and it was originally built in San Sequoia on the Manzanita Terrace lot, which I think is the lot that I originally built the shell on, but I don't entirely know. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and place this down and take a look at it. Alrighty, so this lot is 127,248 simoleons, and right off the bat, I've got to say, wowza. <laughs> there is so much happening here, and holy... How in the world do you manage to, like, this looks like a actual, like, ship. How? What is this? This is a ship bow. I'm guessing this is, like, a set piece or something from Get Famous, but oh my gosh. <laughs> I do like how you kept this, like, landscaping thing kind of going, so it definitely fits onto the lot really well. Um, holy Stacy. <laughs> This is amazing. Lots of seating areas, like, all around this place. This is amazing. I cannot wait to get onto the inside. Holy. I am overwhelmed. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let's go ahead and go inside, because, oh my gosh. All right, so, we come in. We got a little, like, waiting section over here. Uh, I spot that Sims 1 plant that came with the basement kit. So, got the little hostess area. That's what that's called. And then we have a very small seating area in here, but there is a lot of space outside for your sims to sit at, so I think it'll be okay. Big kitchen in here. So, super duper nice. I just know that this reeks of fish because this is a seafood place. <laughs> I am not a fish or, like, seafood person in general. So... Um, I, I can imagine how that smells. I, I, I know it too well because my family on my mom's side is like very big into fishing and uh -oh. <laughs> we've got a bathroom here and it is equipped with a changing station for the infants and a little toddler potty. So super duper cute. Over here looks like a little like staff kind of quarter thing. So looks like we have a little storage area and then... Out here, it looks like we have some like outdoor bathroom stuff happening, which is really cool. I love the use of all the little like under the sea decal stuff that came with the bathroom clutter kit. That's really, really cool. So we come up here and oh, we have a little like cafe type thing over here, which is super cool. I'm guessing that's maybe why you said it could be changed into a cafe also because of that piece there. Up here, it looks like we have maybe the like staff lounge or something so people can get come up here and get some coffee, make a little like microwave lunch or something. We got the bathroom over here. Ooh, there's even more bathrooms over here. <laughs> lots and lots of bathrooms. So it's a big lot for sure. And there's lots of seating. So I'm sure a lot of people will have to use the bathroom. So having many, many bathrooms is very good. So uh, lots of like coral decoration stuff. Oh, is this a debug item? Like this piece here, or 
Like, I see some of the stuff is not, but... Huh. I'm guessing it's an island living piece, maybe. Super duper cool. And then out through here, we have the, like, most amazing seating thing I've ever seen. So we've got some of that up here. And then, again, we have this little, like, set piece here for the ship. Which I honestly thought at the beginning was, like, a platform situation you had done or something. But, no, that's actually, like, one whole piece with the stairs and all. So that is super duper cool. Stacy. You've got to teach me your ways of building, because, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is incredible. I am, like, almost speechless uh, with how, like, amazing this is. Well done. Um, I don't know if you have a video on the way of, like, you building this, but if you do, please let me know when that comes out, because I want to see this process so bad. All I can say is, wow, well done. And thank you so much for this entry. This is insane. Alrighty, that is all of the entries for that shell challenge. So thank you again so much to everyone who submitted an entry. I had so much fun taking a look at all of these and it's so cool and interesting how everyone has kind of like different ideas for what to turn this into. Uh, you all did amazing. I am blown away by every single entry that I looked at today. These are all incredible and so much better than what I built. <laughs> you all are so talented and I am just, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. My mind is just completely blown. But thank you again so much for submitting your entries to this challenge. And now I like am super excited to see what you guys do with the next one. <laughs> But like I said, I will leave the video going over the information for the next gel challenge that I have going in the description for you guys. I will link Pixie Dusted's YouTube channel in the description as well if you want to check out any of her stuff. Seriously, some good work over there. And with that, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss anything. Be sure to follow my socials. Links are below. I'll see you all soon. Bye.